And then when I was in China, when I was in China, I'd always heard about the underground church. And uh, so these are the believers. They were all about 18 to 25. These are the believers that the church looked at and said, man, these, are, these guys are the hardcore. I go, tell me about the persecution. And because uh, I want to hear from you. I came here to learn. I didn't come here to teach. And they gave me this weird look like, what are you talking about? I go, persecution. Don't you guys get persecuted? And they go, well, of course, but everyone does. I go, no, not everyone does. And uh, I, they just, they, they, it was really, it was a strange interaction because they go, well, explain what you mean. And uh, I said, like, when, when people persecute you for, like, sharing your faith, and they just started rattling up scripture. They go, but that's what Jesus said would happen. Why do you even want to hear about that? Like, it was so commonplace and, but, and then I, I said, just, just tell me some stories of what the last time. Tell me the last time, you know. And, uh, you know, so this, you know, girl gets up and she goes, okay. And she explains, real broken English. But she talked about uh, just the funnest group of people. You would have loved them. I mean, they're full of joy. They're laughing, you know. And this girl is talking about them having a meeting. And, and then, you know, the government officials, you know, someone warned them, hey, they're coming, they're coming. And she just talked about, she goes, ah, oh, first time in my life she goes I thank God I'm so skinny she goes she talked about how it was so funny everyone's laughing she talked about how she fit in between these two boards and how she was trying not to breathe and and then praying because her backpack was downstairs oh Lord please don't let them see my backpack and you know and some of her friends got taken away and you know but meanwhile they're just laughing and you know yeah yeah oh right on you're skinny you know just just on and on you know another guy gets up and he just talks about how oh yeah these three officials came and we thought okay there's only three of them there's 13 of us let's just run everyone run in a different direction you know, and everyone in the room's like, yeah, you know, and they're just all start running. He goes, then he started firing, you know, they start firing their guns. And he goes, but we were taught never stop running. So we just kept running and going, oh, I hope they're bluffing, you know, and just shooting in the air. And sure enough, you know, they said, we're shot in the air, but we're going to shoot you next. Stop. He just said, we just ran and ran because that's the way we were trained. And everyone's in there. Yeah. You know, just, it's just, This is life to us. And I'm sitting there going, wow, really? Man, that's cool, you know? And they're just like, what's up with you? I go, I go, you got to understand. I go, where I come from, it's not like that. And uh, I, I said, where I come from, we have these buildings called churches. And we attend them. And, and, and we have so many that if you find music that you like better at a different one, you just switch. And, uh, (laughs) And that's exactly what they did. They're laughing hysterically, like, shut up. I go, no. I go, seriously, if there's better child care there, you know, they have better schools for their kids or the service is short or whatever else. We switch, we jump from place to place. And these guys are just looking at it. And, um, I mean, that was the weirdest part was how hard they were laughing. And because to them, they just go, that doesn't make sense. They said, how did you, how do you, how do you read this book and come up with that? And I go, I know, I know, I know, but, but it's just what we do there. And it was, it was, it was just one of those moments where you walk away going, wow, it really is ridiculous. Some of what we do, like, how did we get that from here? And, and so for me, it was like, I, I needed to see that. I need to see that when you, you just put India and China together, that's 40% of the world's population. Okay, we're not talking about a little weird country here. That's 40%. The U.S. is about 4% of the world's population. So you've got to understand that the majority of the world, the way they view Christianity, the way Christians conduct themselves, is very different, and that we are the weird ones. And in fact, we're the ones that are laughed at by the majority of them out there. Going, Look at what they do. When I first started in ministry, it was because of Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, which scared the heck out of me, reading it as a high schooler, where Jesus says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, is going to enter the kingdom of heaven. It's only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. And that scared me, not for myself. It scared me because I'd look around and go, man, 
that means a lot of people are deceived. They come to the end and they're expecting to go to heaven and they're in for the shock of their lives. When God says, I was never your Lord. You never followed me, it was always still about you. 